So, welcome back to another episode of Orb Movements of the Earth. So, first of all, I'm in a bit of a different setup than usual. It's gonna be here for probably another episode after this, and that's it. Um, anyways, in the previous episode, we had an incredible, incredible uh, story progression. We started off... We started getting into a bit more in, into the meat of things, right? So, we got the girl... Uh, Yolinta, I think her name is. Yolanta, Yolinta. I think it's Yolinta. She kind of joined up with our group. Kind of, sort of, not really, but um, she decided to also introduce our group to... Uh, I forgot what his name is, but to basically the main guy at the, at the uh, observatory that she works at. Um, and he obviously wasn't very fond of the idea of, you know, all of his life research being just thrown away uh, and being wrong. Because he heavily, heavily believes in the geocentric system. But they kind of planted an idea of, what if... Heliocentrism is the truth. What if? Just think about it. Um, he threw them out, but the idea was planted, and I feel like now he's gonna have a lot of time to ponder what if that is the truth, because he does, he genuinely is interested in the truth more than anything else, uh, even though he is the believer of the ge geocentric system. So it's gonna be interesting to see how, you know, how this ends up, uh, like how this ends up in impacting him, and if he ends up reaching up back out to our guys, and like what kind of relationship is gonna form there and where this goes from here because as always i have still zero clue how and where this uh, story is going so i'm excited to find out anyways if you wanna watch this uncut and unblurred it's gonna be on my patreon which is down in the description and without further ado let's go into orb episode 9 oh it's him The perfect model of the universe. Whoa, it's been 20 years. I mean, yeah, knowledge builds on knowledge, right? So, it makes sense that he surpasses him. What's up? Yo! 
What did he notice? Wait, what did he notice? Oh, he's thinking that because he noticed that, that something's wrong with him. That he's not good enough. That he made a mistake. Makes sense. Oh wow, even further ahead. This guy is so cool though. Oh, it was five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it feels like he was doubting himself. And still to this day, we don't know everything about the universe. You know what this reminds me of? You know of um you know Hawking, Stephen Hawking, when he um like about when he was uh researching Hawking radiation, right, of back holes. He I'm pretty sure it was another scientist who proposed the notion of oh um black holes emit heat. Emit uh wow, emit heat, right? Um and Hawking was like, there's no way that that can happen because if they were to emit heat, then that would mean that they wouldn't be completely black. They would have color because it would be energy emitting from them, right? Um, and so he was, or radiation emitting from them. And so he was like, I'm going to disprove this guy. I'm going to disprove this point that uh, black holes emit heat. So he started disproving it. And then he realized, oh, wait, no, actually, he's kind of right. He's kind of right. That scientist was onto something. And that's how uh, Hawking's, you know, proof of, or not proof, but theory of, Hawking radiation in black holes uh, came to be, right? And by the way, the reason why there's no color in a black hole, at least in like, let's, let's say Sagittarius A star, which is at the center of Milky Way, is because the radiation or the, um, the temperature of that uh, black hole is, I think, something along the lines of point something Kelvins. So it's, I think it's like so, 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 so low that um, it doesn't, um radiate any color it's not enough energy to radiate any you know and any, any kind of visible radiation but there still exists hawking radiation within a black hole it kind of reminds me of this when he was trying to disprove something or he was working so tirelessly on something that he believed in and then he realized oh wait i'm wrong and then he used that to kind of prove another thing that he believed was wrong he proved that no actually it's right uh which i feel like is a good way of for scientists to work you realize that something is wrong I feel like that's obviously it can be disheartening, but also it's a new opportunity to prove something else because science, you know, that's how science works. There's no such thing as like complete science. Wow. 
Wow. Wow! That's a light opening. That's cool though. Also, one really interesting thing that I think they're showing in this is how religion or just belief, uh, like a strong belief in something in general can hinder uh, sciences. Because obviously a science needs to be, usually how you do science is like you have a hypothesis and then you try to disprove it, right? It's not like you try to make sure that you can prove it in, or like, it's not like you're trying to make sure that it's complete or perfect. You're trying to disprove it. And if you can disprove that hypothesis, then while it's kind of, it's not worthless, but I mean, it just proves that it's not wrong, which is, isn't worthless, but it's wrong, right? Uh, but I feel like here they're trying to, they're trying to find this way to a perfect point where uh, religion is telling them to, uh, to reach, right? Which I feel like is how religion and strong beliefs like this can hinder advancements and sciences and I feel like it's a really cool way to show it here. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, what was it? So I wonder if he was actually doubting his own skill or whether he was doubting the actual theory. Venus in its final phase. Okay, that makes sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. That's really cool. I mean, that's a 50-50 chance of guessing it. You have a 50-50. Unless it's a curveball. It's a curveball. That's insane! I mean, it is a stunning um, graph, you know, of the universe. Even if it is wrong. No, 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 no. That's not true. One thing does not necessarily correlate the other. Yeah, 
我々の使命はこの汚れた地下を抜け出し天国へ行くことだと教えられてきましたでもずっと疑問だったんですこの世は最低というには魅力的すぎる荒れ狂う自然や理性のない獣罪深い人間そういった悲劇の類の者たちですらなぜか全て美しさを備えてるこれには何か理由があっていいそれが地球の運動なのかもしれない大地と夜空が一つならどんなに怪我してもこの世から輝きは簡単に消えないそろそろだぞ金星が見えるのは3時間程度だバベイビーさん、うん、質問なんですけど俺が金星が満ちてるって言ってもピャストハクは死んでるって言ってもピャストハクは死んでるって言ってもピャストハクは死んでるって言ってもピャストハクは死んでるって言ってもピャストハクは死んでるって言ってもピャストハクは死んでるって言ってもピャストハクは死んでるって言ってもピャストハクは死んでるって言ってもピャストハクは死んでるって言ってもピャストハクは死んでるって言あなたたちが普段話してることもやってることも正直俺はよくわからないこれが進行的にどうなるかはもっとわからないというかそもそも俺は巻き込まれた形で世界を変えようなんて信念はないただ天国へ行きたいだけだったのになんで今ここにいてどうしてこんなことしてるのか全然わからないここ数日間は俺の人生で最大に謎な期間ですだけどその中で一番よくわからないのは俺は今満ちた金星を持っていたでは我々が君にできることはもうないなはいけどもしよければ期待してくださいリリーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーー
you know. To your own beliefs. He doesn't want to let it go. Him letting go of his life's work. Wow. Wow. Okay. 
文字を読む時だけはかつていた偉人たちが私に向かって口を開いてくれるその一瞬この時代から抜け出せる文字になった思考はこの世に残ってずっと未来の誰かを動かすことだってあるそんなのまるで奇跡じゃないですか That's a very interesting way to put it. They really put it into perspective. Like, what kind of time back then it was. Like, it was so different from now. The values were so different. Whoa, is that heliocentrism? Damn, that did not sound good. Oh, that does not look good. Yo, it's like that a death note. Oh. Zero light pollution. Imagine. Whoa, okay. That's it. That's it. What a wonderful, man. What a fantastic episode, actually. One of my favorite episodes so far. So badass. As I said, it feels weird, you know, being so hyped up when they're like, yo, the sun actually is in the middle of, of like our uh, solar system. Whoa, that's insane. Uh, because obviously that's such basic knowledge nowadays, but it's still so cool seeing how they discovered it and still it's so i don't know i still find myself uh really really intrigued in seeing are they actually gonna be seeing the um you know observations that they were speculating or that they were expecting you know because what if they miss a det detail and back then obviously the knowledge was way more limited than nowadays so what if they miss one like huge detail that could throw them off you know um but no it ended up going that way um fortunately and we have now effectively not necessarily we haven't disproven geocentrism no we haven't uh we're still not there yet but we took a big 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 step towards disproving it um granted disproving something doesn't necessarily mean uh you're proving the other thing it can help it but it's not uh the same thing when we disprove geocentrism um there's no you know, you still need to prove the other one as well. It's not enough to just disprove one and be like, okay, so if this one is not correct, then the other one must be correct. Uh, that's not how it works. So I wonder what kind of proof they're going to find for heliocentrism. Because honestly, even then, people can still make uh, assumptions, just like how um, the other guy, uh, I forgot his name, something starting with a P, um, how he said like, Oh, just because we can see Venus fully here, that doesn't mean necessarily that geocentrism is wrong. It could also just mean that uh, Venus is also orbiting the Earth. That would also explain it. And yeah, yeah, it could. It could. That's why this is not enough to disprove it. But it's a good, good, good step forward uh, to disproving it. So it's going to be really interesting to see how, you know, how they go about it, how they're going to be gathering all of those clues. Uh, it also seems like, I don't know if this was like a temporary disbandment or they fully disbanded. Uh, as like a trio. I hope we get to see more of Yolenta and stuff like that because she was really cool. Um, also, I wonder if this entire speech from her to Otsi is going to, you know, motivate Otsi to learn how to read and write. I feel like that could be a cool thing and I feel like it would be very useful to him, but I don't know how easy that's gonna end up being. I feel like that's gonna take a long, long, a long, long time. So 
I guess we'll see in the future. But also, I wonder who's gonna find the book, right? The Death Note. <laughs> the book that um, the the person, you know, left when he... Or that he uh, threw when he passed away. So I wonder, yeah, who's gonna find it? Because it feels like it's definitely foreshadowing that someone's gonna find it. And he, it seemed like he was drawing the heliocentric uh, model in it, right? It was like just a bunch of circles, right? So I wonder a bunch of ellipses. So I wonder if it's gonna be... Or orbits, I should say. I wonder if it's gonna be uh, someone finding it and then starting to, you know, further heliocentrism or stuff like that. I'm, I'm guessing it is gonna be that way. But I guess we'll see in future episodes. Damn, this is getting so... Like, it's getting better and better. And it started off insanely well, but it's getting even better the more we watch it. I can't wait to see where this goes. But anyways, I'm gonna end this one here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.